I'm going to say that we are probably at some of the most exciting part of our um, evening, our day here, but absolutely none of this could be possible without our incredible speakers, presenters, and supporters, not to mention all of our wonderful girls who come from far and near to be part of this competition. <coughs> A community of women, a community of women created by women, created for women. Sangala brought up STEMinism. She co-founded that group at her school, and they had various activities. Earlier this week, you were asked about what girls' clubs you belong to and maybe what you founded. And it was very interesting because there was uh, lots to read about in terms of your activities. I'm reading right from your surveys. I have an all-girls math tournament under Math for Service, hosting math competitions for girls in various regions in the West Coast. And your particular site hosts one of the satellite locations. One girl wrote, I'm in the process of starting a Girls Who Code chapter at my school. Hats off to Dr. Warlock, too. During my freshman year of high school, I noticed that my school did not compete in physics competitions such as F equals MA and Physics Bowl. I have a passion for physics, so I founded the Hockaday Physics Team, and they have one now. Another story. One girl wrote, I kind of founded one. My sister founded Explore Science a week-long summer science camp for girls in my neighborhood. When she left for college, I took over. So I'm not the founder, but I'm in charge now. And it's kind of the theme of what we're talking about today. Sangala introduced STEMinism. Dr. Nagpal has been recognized by her community of women by winning the Anita Borg Award and by advising her own women in computer science at Harvard. Dr. Warlock continues leading by example with girls who code. Dr. Mavka expressed how pleased he was to see our community growing and changing. Aruna Lagapan, our founder, has charged you with going home and becoming leaders, mentors to other girls, acting in the true spirit of Math Prize for Girls. So Math Prize for Girls, a community of women, support each other and mentor on. And now to discuss the top 10. As you know, we described earlier that the problems are weighted differently according to difficulty. So we have a six-way tie for ninth place. Ties were broken, problems were weighed, money was reallocated. There will be a sharing of trophies and money according to the various um, levels. Bestowing these awards are going to be, again, President of Advantage Testing Foundation, Arun Alagapan. Assisting him will be Dr. Nagpal. And we will also have Saroja handing out the trophies. The same thing holds. As your name is called, please come to the front. Please come to the front, girls. Make sure that you take the trophy carefully in hand. They are heavy. And if you could please shake hands and make sure you look at the camera and take a great picture with a big smile, okay? All the photos are gonna be on Facebook. You wanna look your best. So. In this tie, six-way tie, the monies have been rearranged and the trophies and problems have been allocated. So with a score of 12 out of 20, winning $350, an honorable mention trophy will go to, from New York, Wan Lei Lee. Mm -hmm. 
Again, another tie, right? 12 out of 20, winning $350, receiving an honorable mention trophy from California, Michelle Song. With a 12 out of 20, receiving $350 and an honorable mention trophy from Illinois, Sophia Gia. With a 12 out of 20, receiving $350, honorable mention trophy from Washington State, Sophia G. <clears throat> With a 12 out of 20, receiving $350, receiving the 10th place trophy from California, Riona Flynn. <clears throat> With a 12 out of 20, receiving $350 and the ninth place trophy from California, Yuting Emma Chen. <clears throat> With a 13 out of 20, receiving $1,000, eighth place winner, from North Carolina, Angela Dang. <clears throat> With a 13 out of 20, receiving $1,000 Seventh place trophy from Massachusetts, Angela Gong. With a 13 out of 20 score, receiving $1,000 and the sixth place trophy from Michigan, Maddie Yang. With a 13 out of 20, $1,000 and the fifth place trophy will go to, from California, Laura Pearson. There was a, a little tie, third and fourth place. With a 14 out of 20, receiving $3,500, the fourth place trophy goes to, from California, Sarah Yonquist. <laughs> receiving 14 out of 20, and $3,500. In third place, out of the state of Washington, Nina Anakiva.
and there's a tie. But it's close, but you can tell the difference. They've weighed the grades, weighed the problems. Receiving 17 out of 20. A lot of check marks on this sheet. And sharing the money for first and second place. So each person will receive $20,500. Second place from California, Catherine Katie Wu. The next trophy is heavier. Receiving a 17 out of 20 and $20,500 in first place. Oh, I have announcements to make. <laughs> As you know, many of these young women have re received monetary awards. Those monies will not be given out right now. There will be paperwork. We will contact you and we will send you a check. We have noticed that for this competition, uh, there, is, there have been quite a few items which have been found. So um, from MIT, Jaden Nazarian is setting up a lost and found outside in case you've lost anything. It's been raining on and off this afternoon. <laughs> I'm telling you the weather too. Um, but this relates to the shuttles. Because it's raining, if it's raining at the time our shuttles have to leave, we can wait in the vestibule until it's time to go. Shuttles numbers one through four will leave approximately 10 minutes after the award ceremony. So it gives you some time to take some pictures. And then anyone who has previously booked seats on the shuttles and received email about it, you will be shuttles one through four leaving 10 minutes after the award ceremony. Because it takes about 15 minutes to go and come back from the airport, shuttles five through eight will leave approximately half an hour after the first ones have gone. Please be patient. We have several people, volunteers, who are going to be checking you in, and you have to have your name and number of occupants ready for the shuttle when it leaves. Oh, it's time to announce. With a 17 out of 20, receiving $20,000, $20,500, first place trophy out of New Hampshire, Chi Chi. Before we conclude our ceremony, we would like the top 10 girls to come up here. I should have told you not to leave the stage, my bad. So if the temp top 10 girls could come up here for photographs, everyone else, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your support. Have a safe trip home. <laughs>